Thank you, Samuel. Um, thank you, Mr. Tan Chun Xian, uh, Chief Executive of TOTBOT, for your welcome remarks and a very good morning to everyone. Uh, my name is Harvey, and um, along with Samuel and Justin at IPS, we are the leads for this uh, Future Ready Society program. Uh, first, I want to acknowledge uh, TOTBOT's support for the Future Ready Society program and for its broad vision. This novel program, as you have uh, realised, has two symbiotics components. Impact Fund, which tests bits on the ground solutions, and Knowledge Partnership, which conducts future-themed research. Since launching the Future Ready Society Impact Fund and Knowledge Partnership in May, the LKYCIC and IPS, along with our partners, have been working very diligently towards our collective goal of making Singapore's society future ready. There is no silver bullet to this ambitious goal. We believe that knowledge sharing, mutual learning, capacity and capability building, and the active promotion of the concept of the future and future society are four key strategies to reach our goal. The research that we conduct under the Knowledge Partnership and the solutions which we test with under the Impact Fund power these strategies. We have gathered today for the first of a several planned Future Ready Society conferences. Leading up to today's conference, we had also organised workshops, panel discussions, as well as other outreach and learning initiatives. These include the Future is Local panel discussion in June, and a study trip to Scotland in July. I believe several participants of this trip will be sharing their learning journey and experiences this afternoon. Closer to home, in September, we organised a learning journey with Yishun Health and Pro Bono SG to learn more about uh, place-based initiatives in Singapore. Since May, we have also begun three research projects which look at future ready workforce, sense of belonging in the face of future urban renewal, and the first of its kind, National Survey on Citizens', sorry, citizens Perceptions and Attitudes Towards the Concepts of Future and Future Ready Society. Amongst other things, this survey will shed light on how citizens prioritise different and competing future concerns. My recap of our activities to date is testament to our belief that people and partnerships must be at the core of the Future Ready Society program. Now, this brings us back to today's conference. We will learn how future communities can be empowered and connected through human relations, lived environments, and advanced digitalization, summarized alliteratively in the three motives of peer, places, and platforms. We always welcome fresh, forward-looking and future-oriented research ideas and solutioning. Do visit our website, futureadysociety.sg, to learn about our collaborative opportunities. I wish everyone a productive day of learning and sharing. Thank you.